Hi, my name is Peggy Doty. Some of the smaller people in your world might know me as Miss Peggy out at the Nature Center. I am in the Natural Resource Education Center today and I was asked to do a video on wild turkey. So that's what we're doing. I am the only person here. I'm my own videographer and there are a few animals that tend to be loose when I'm here. So you may hear one uh, walking. That would be TJ, our giant tortoise and our poster child for why you should not buy exotic species if you don't know what you're getting yourself into. And our local uh, dove, she is not a morning dove. She is the equivalent to that from Africa. She is a Eurasian collared dove and may appear at any moment, I apologize. Um, but that's how it goes here at the Natural Resource Education Center. So let's talk turkey. Its proper name is Eastern Wild Turkey. It's in the same order as grouse and quail and partridge and pheasant. So all these birds, if you think about them, they're kind of like chunky chickens. Uh, they prefer to run over flying. They'll fly only after they feel they can't run away anymore. And so that's that group. What we're seeing evidently in our communities, we saw them in Sycamore, Illinois last year. I haven't heard yet about that, um, but DeKalb's getting them now. Maybe they walked over that way, uh, DeKalb, uh, the town of DeKalb. So it's not uncommon. And they eat nuts from trees, seeds, maybe some fallen fruit, and our backyards are super loaded with those kinds of things. I can't answer as to why they're walking around downtown, um, other than they are nomadic. As long as there's a water source, not right next to them, but it can be a ditch, it can be a creek, it can be the Kishwaukee River, that's why they're, they're getting everything they need, so they have their habitat met. They, we almost lost all of them in most of their range because they're easy targets. They are large, they do run before they fly, uh, they are very um, predictable. If you flush a turkey at dusk, they're going to go up into a tree and sit. And they'll stay there because it's getting dark. And you can come back before dawn and the turkey will be right where you left it. It's such an easy hunting situation for people. And then for animals, they're on the ground a lot, right? And so raccoons, foxes, coyotes, bobcats, all your typical ground predators are going to come across these guys. They're not as likely to take a full-size turkey, but the poults, and we'll talk about that in a second, they're on the ground, right? And these are ground nesting birds. So you put your nest on the ground, you're the size of a stop sign. So uh, the birds are called toms and hens. The toms have a beard, it's not here, right? It's their wattle that comes here. The beard comes out of the chest. It's the furry looking feathers, the fine feathers that come out of their chest. That's a tom, they can average 20 pounds. You don't want to have one fly across a road and hit one. It could damage your car. And a hen is about 12 pounds. So a Canada goose that we see a lot of, a Canada goose and a hen turkey weigh about the same as adults. The poults, the little guys, when they're born in the spring, uh, mid, I think probably, probably April, May, right? I'm getting close to June. The poults are, the eggs are laid in a ground nest. The poults, 10 to 12 eggs, as many as 17 have been seen. So the, the hens have to sit there and they don't start incubating the nest until the last egg is laid so that they all incubate and hatch at the same time. So the first eggs aren't changing and, and, and developing until she sits. Now she's gonna sit there for a month on the ground with predators. So you can see why their numbers went down really quickly until we had regulations in hunting for people to at least stop that part of the pre you know heavy uh, predation on them. So the funny, a quick funny story because people know that's what I'm I'm good for. When I did my apprenticeship in Land Between the Lakes in Kentucky, it's 170,000 square acres of non-commercial space, and I got to work at a nature center. And my boss went turkey hunting, and he said I got a tom turkey. Now toms have the most colors. Um, their tails, I have a feather here. Their tails, this one's a little worn. Their tails are very beautiful and tend to be more even rust colored than this. This one's a really old feather and I have a bird. I'm just gonna leave that in the video but send her on her way. That's Noli, our house bird that we teach bird wings with and feathers. And this feather would not be on her. It's huge, right? So this, if you find one when you're looking at these turkeys, this is a tail and it has that bar on it. The turkey tail that my boss gave me, I spread it and pinned it on cardboard. I cleaned it out really good on the inside. I salted it, that's how you get, you know, dry up all the meat. I just worked and worked. It was the most gorgeous, gorgeous fan. We call it a tail fan. And one morning my roommate and I got up and she looked at me and she looked across the room. She goes, is your turkey tail moving? I'm like, 
that's ridiculous. And I'm drinking my coffee, she's drinking hers, and we're looking across the room. And I went, I think it is moving. You guys, it had gotten, I didn't get it cleaned enough, and flies had gotten in it, at least one, and laid eggs. And I had a turkey tail full of maggots hanging on my wall. Literally hanging, dropping maggots on the floor. Yeah, so that didn't last and that got thrown away after all that work. So I know you wanted to hear that lovely story, right? So something to think about, um, turkeys can only be hunted during hunting season. You may not hunt them in your yard. That's gonna be illegal, you're amongst houses. Maybe if you're a rural person, you know, rural farm, uh, you got room. Okay, maybe so, but only during the hunting season. Check your hunting seasons. I don't know how far this video is gonna go, but uh, the hunting seasons tend to be March to May, but you wanna, and, and that's to be done hunting so the hens can lay eggs, right? You don't wanna be having people targeting uh, moms-to-be. So um, I did a little research and 21% of hunters hunt turkey. That puts them second only to white-tailed deer hunting. So that's quite a number, but we have been replenishing them. I say we, I haven't had a thing to do with it. We as in the Department of Natural Resources across the United States have been putting turkey back into spaces and they're doing so well that in all 49 states where they occur, there's hunting seasons. So they are not endangered. Um, they are simply um, having to be managed by hunting seasons to save their population. So um, what else am I forgetting? I will tell you that in the spring, you need to be careful if you have these turkeys still around town. A lot of people like to take pictures. My favorite picture I saw last year was a man taking a picture of a turkey looking at himself in a business window in a door in downtown Sycamore. It was so cute. So you could see him, you could see the turkey, and they could see each other, and he was taking a photograph. So, But you need to be um, a little bit careful because the toms, I know it's hard to concentrate with her, but she's just gonna keep flying back in. The toms can get a little bit aggressive, and if they think you're subordinate to them, they will try to come after you, flog you with their wings. So you wanna always be bigger and kinda of yell at them, scare them, you know, haze them a little bit, because if they think they've got you, um, they will chase you. And it's a, really, um, it's a really disruptive moment to be chased. And I can tell you that I know that for a fact, because when I worked in Land Between the Lakes doing my apprenticeship, my best friend came down and wanted to see some of the sites. And there's an 18, uh, 1830s, 50s working farm down there. And they had domesticated wild turkey because that's what we would have had. The Muscovy duck and the, and the wild turkey are the only two domesticated native birds um, that we have. So they had these native uh, domesticated wild turkey to make it look authentic. And she wanted a picture of them. Now my friend is extremely tall and um, she has an inseam that doesn't stop. So she went to take a photo with a real camera. We didn't have our cell phones back then. And she bent down. And when she bent down to take a picture of this Tom turkey, the Tom could see the hen between her legs behind her. Now on the porch, there are two women in authentic dresses tatting, rocking in a chair and tatting and looking at everything, just being in, in, the, in the moment, you know? And so my girlfriend bends over, goes to take this picture, the hen walks behind her, the tom sees it, throws his tail wide open, and when they do this, they throw their wings down, and their wings have these large, really firm feathers, and they vibrate them onto the ground. So it's this really loud and it often will wear these tips right off eventually. So he drops his wings, his tail's wide open. He's making this horrific gobbling sound, trying to get the hen's attention that's right behind her. And it's just this chaos. And I'm looking at her thinking, well, that's cool. He's, he sees her. Well, Susan, my friend, turns around to run away. The hen sees her freaks out and takes off running from Susan. Susan, for whatever natural reason, decides to follow the hen. Well, the Tom's following the hen, so now the Tom's behind Susan. And they go around this small 1800s cabin two times, all in a row, and she is just screaming things I can't repeat as she goes by me. I'm by now on my knees and I'm crying. I'm laughing because I can't get my breath enough to tell her just to step out of the circle. And yeah, it was the funniest turkey moment I've ever had. And I tell that story a lot, and I've told her I tell it a lot. So she won't be surprised that I've told it again. But, but we have to remember, these are huge birds. A 20-pound bird would be pretty, pretty amazing um, when it turns on you. So be aware that as 
quite as they look, the wrong season might bring out a different reaction um, from your turkeys. So why are they in your yard? You're feeding birds. If you get a turkey in your yard, they will do a lot of digging and scraping. Um, so if you don't like that in your gardens, your mulch is flying around, stop feeding the birds for a little while. And when the food source is gone, they'll go to the neighbors, right? So let the neighbors keep feeding maybe and just don't tell them, but they're on their way. I would love to have turkeys. I have dogs. That's not going to happen. So um, it's not a bad thing to have them, but if you're uncomfortable, just they'll, they'll move on. They're very nomadic. And if there's not enough food for them and they don't dig up bulbs, uh, plants, things like that. That's not. They might accidentally flip them if they're near the surface, but it's they're not out to dig up your garden. And especially this time of year, uh, I'm doing this now. What in the winter? There's not a lot of plants they're going to be too hard on. They really like that mulch though. And on a warm day, if some insects come to the surface, you know, because that mulch is composting at all times. So any warm day, you might get some composting starting a little bit again, and that brings insects because it's warm. So that might draw the turkeys. So I hope I covered everything that people were hoping for. Um, you can find me on the University of Illinois Extension website for Boone to Calvin Ogle if you need to. Um, if you are interested in the noise of the walking tortoise constantly, you can find him on his Instagram back here. It's just TJ underscore tortoise. We just keep him up there um, kind of as our poster child for not to buy exotic species when you don't know what you're doing, but also because it gives us kind of a mascot for our building along with Noli here, our, uh, our wing girl. So thank you so much. Again, um, if you need something or you're interested in other topics, let me know and I'll see what I can do. And otherwise, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your time on the planet. And don't forget, you get a free trip around the sun every year. So no complaining. Take care.